everyone, this is Gally and today we're going to learn how to copy styles or have your own. You've probably heard before that copying is wrong, but I will not agree with that because copying is the only way we learn. We learn by copying our parents when we were little and well, that's how we learn pretty much anything. So drawing is not an exception. So instead of just drawing dragons today, I'm going to give you some tips. For example, if you don't know how to draw an eye and then you start practicing how to draw eyes, you can do them fast in different styles. If you don't know how, it will take you quite a while, right? But if you do it fast, after you learn, you will have different ways of drawing eyes just in seconds. And then you can proceed to drawing the nose and the mouth and so on. So what I wanted to tell you is that copying is not bad. And for example, what I do is I grab many, many pictures of different artists I like and I copy the things that I want to have in my own style. For example, how a person does eyes and then how a person does noses. And I just copy that. And if I like the coloring of another one, I try to copy that and make it in my own style which means that I just copy it in my own way. And after a while, you get many different, um, different references and pictures and you can emulate them as your own. It doesn't mean you're copying someone else's style because if you only copy one person, it will be obvious. They will tell you, hey, that looks a lot like whoever, right? But if you copy from many, no one will ever know. And that's actually a good thing, it's not a bad thing, so. Don't be afraid to copy other artists as long as it's copying for learning and not just stealing their art because that is the wrong part. So if you're going to copy a style just like that, just the way they do it, try to vary it, try to make it your own and try to make it different because if not, you're just going to be a copy of the other person. And that's what I try, for example, in my dragons, I admire somebody who draws a specific set of heads, right? And I copy that. And then another person will do the bodies in a certain way and I admire, for example, how he draws scales. So I will copy the way he draws scales in my design. And another one makes different kinds of arms on their characters. So I will copy that. And another one I saw at the claws like this. So then you start getting like your own design. For example, there's the person who made the wings of the dragons start here and another one that makes them start here. And you know, somebody who makes different horns look so awesome. And then you start copying that and you end up with your own design. Inspired, that's the key word, I think. Inspired. Yes. Spira, sorry. <laughs> Double D. Inspired, yay. You get inspired by somebody else. Your design is inspired by somebody else. Not copied, not stolen whatever. So you get inspiration, like I can give you many examples of people who have gotten inspired by others and this will probably make you feel better because you'll see that everybody does it. It's not just like you doing it and it's wrong, no. For example, let's see here, Cat Boss. If you've seen, um, what's the name of this? Totoro, my neighbor Totoro, I will write it here. Oh my god, I cannot write and speak. <laughs> Sorry, okay, Totoro. She's like a, a little beautiful cat thing from Ghibli. Okay, so you see this one, they have a cat boss, which is like a cat that is a boss, literally. It, it has ears and it has windows and it has many pairs of legs. Okay, so if you see an avatar, the legend of Ang. You've probably seen Appa, which is like a big bison that can fly. And yes, he has many legs. So if you knew this or not, Appa was based on Cat Bus from Totoro, from Miyazaki. So they drew the inspiration to, for, to make this character from that. So that means it's not exact copy, it's not a cat, but yes, it can fly, and yes, it has many pairs of legs, and it's a big animal, and you see, there are similarities, but not exact copies. 
So, that's where I'm going with this. When you copy someone else and you learn, that's another key. You learn from them. You then make your own drawings look amazing with different ideas from different people. And in the end, that just develops your style. So there you go, you have your style because you copied someone else. So it's not bad, okay? So if you ever struggled with feeling like a terrible person because you were copying or felt like that was the wrong thing to do or just not a good part of what you wanted to do, trust me, copying, learning and getting inspired is one of the best ways to get fast learning and to get better. Like that's one of the only ways to get better drawing is to actually learn. If you never copy, if you never learn from anatomy or animals or I don't know, anatomy in humans, if you want to draw humans or buildings, structures, whatever you want to do, there's no way you're going to get better. You're just going to keep repeating the same thing and the same thing and the same thing forever and there might be a slight improvement, but it will never be big enough for you to notice. So, copy. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was conscious learning. That means that you have to pay attention to what you're learning, not just copy it. For example, you're drawing, I don't know, the claws of an animal, right? And then you just think claws look like this. But then you start observing the claws and you find that they're rounded and, for example, their shape could be something like this and this thing bends here. And then you start observing where the claw grows in the toe and so on. Like you start observing what you're doing, why, for example, some animals have scales on their legs, others don't, why they're smaller, closer to the toes, why they're bigger in the body and so on. Like you start to observe why you're doing things and that would change a lot of the things you do. You'll start, for example, if you're copying an animal, you're copying another person's style. Why they do the nose the way they do, don't just copy it. Like why does somebody do this or why does somebody draw the nose like this, etc, etc. Like try to observe figure out the textures, the colors, the shading. And once you have like, all you want to know is like building a library in your head. Once you have that information, trust me, getting better is just going to be the only way forward. And your drawings will look amazing in no time. I can promise you that. So thank you for watching guys. If you like this video and want more like it, you can feel free to comment and subscribe and share with your friends. There are more videos to come, just like this one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.